Hi everyone, welcome back to the Omnet Studio series. In this session, we are going to cover all the data raptor actions that we have in the integration procedure. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we will create one IP here and I will name it as like IP data raptor actions. I will provide the same into type and subtype. Hit the save button. Okay. Uh, so one thing uh, that I will do is uh, first I will utilize the data raptor extract option here Okay, and I will rename it a bit Good, so I'll call it data raptor extract action Okay, and for our example, I have already created four data raptors now that you can see uh, one is extract another one is turbo then we have transform then we have load as well okay so first we as we are covering the extract so i will show you like what we have here uh, so i didn't want to spend too much time creating in this um, session as we already covered the data raptor in the past sessions right so let's see what we have as here is that uh, we have the contact object and whatever data we are um, having we have mapped into the output and we are having like first name last name and then we also have a filter uh, the value or variable that we have is the acc name and our filter query is like account name like acc name okay so if you go here if we execute so we will get some uh, something like this right so uh, we are getting context from the account name uh, where we have the account name is as edge okay so we are going to utilize the same ip that we have so this is the i this is the sorry this is the data adapter that we are going to utilize okay so we have this okay so first uh, element name um, if you have seen the past video this is will be our node and whatever data we will get through this data adapter will be available into this variable or this node okay so now as you can see that um, here we are passing the account name okay so here we have options to provide the input parameters okay so here we will call it filter value okay so filter value should be our acc name okay and the data source okay so we don't have the data source so what i am going to do is i will create account name okay and then i will pass the same value okay so to access the uh, uh, variable that we have right or value we have what we need to do is like we need to put down this here as well okay so let's hit the preview okay so as you can see this this is the, this was the over node data raptor action and it got executed and it returned us to context right uh, one thing that uh, you want to notice here that while using this variable here i didn't use the percentage sign right uh, so this is a, a difference here uh, when you are utilizing the data raptor uh, you don't need to uh, like use the percentage sign to map out the field value or field okay so this is how our data raptor extract worked okay uh, the similar thing uh, should be for the turbo right so i'll call it turbo action and the one that we have ip get context and the same kind of thing uh, okay we will utilize the same parameter what i will do i will copy from here this is going to be same this is going to be same okay so let's hit and let's execute it okay and now let's go back so this is the over step data raptor turbo action and we can see we are also getting some data here which is uh, context obviously and a uh, few other fields because turbo extract works in another way right it returns um, few id fields automatically even though we didn't include it there right so this is this is our turbo right now if you see right so we have context same kind of query same variable uh, we are returning um, so id is by default right and the first name and last name right so it is it is already there okay cool uh, so we have covered two data adapters in our ip 
okay so the next one uh, that we are going to cover is the transform okay so i will rename it uh, transform action okay so what i have here is uh, that uh, the transform that we have is like a full name first name so whatever we are uh, coming as a first name should be going to the names f name okay and the same goes for the last name as well okay so we are just like changing the uh, uh, node and changing the variables uh, right nothing else okay so in over ip what we are going to do is we will create the same okay so we are going to create a set value here okay and two parameters or two elements first name last name okay. john okay and the node that we are expecting here full name okay and then we will drag our transform action here okay, okay we already did so let me delete this out uh, and let me move this a bit up okay okay so first we are setting up our nodes here full name last name first name okay and this is a string right okay cool okay uh, let's go let's set up our transform um, so this is the over data raptor that i have already created for ip transform let's go back and let's hit the preview okay so here uh, i will go to the transform action so you, as you can see this uh, the data that we passed uh, as a full name first name full name last name but in return we got names l name names first name right so uh, one thing that you have noticed that uh, in these two data raptors that we utilized right we did pass the values um, right through this acc name account name but if you see this in transform uh, action we didn't pass anything right so this is how it works uh, so in data raptor you must know what node you are expecting okay so here full name last name full name and first name right and if i go here right so this is the same right uh, the name of nodes are same right it has to be okay so this is how you can utilize um, data raptor transform here right up uh, and this video is moreover like how data get passed to the data raptor how we receive the data right uh, because you already know how data raptor works right the last one that we have here is uh, data raptor post action okay in data raptor post action what we do is like uh, this is actually a load right so it creates some records okay here uh, i have this create contact i am creating contact and if i go to fields mapping same kind of full full name first full names first name full name uh, full names last name right and the domain object field that i have made as a, like context first name context last name so i will go ahead and i will utilize this data raptor here okay and as again you can see that i am not passing any kind of parameter or values here the way that i have passed here right so logically this should be the same uh, as uh, we saw in the transform data raptor okay so let's go ahead and let's preview it okay uh, so we have this data raptor post action now you can see that this created a new contact okay so you can see the id of the contact the response and error um, error was okay okay uh, there's nothing else right so you can see this is this has been created perfectly so straightforward uh, all of the data raptors we have covered in this video right uh, do let me know in comment section if you have any questions in this uh, right and also please do subscribe the channel if you haven't so far right we'll see you in the next uh, video thank you bye bye